Hello everyone, Dr. Victoria Scribo here speaking to you uh, on the road again with the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Uh, we're not too far afield. Uh, I'm down here in Woods Hole, Falmouth, Massachusetts, and uh, that is uh, a boat from the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute. This is um, this is the uh, place where the um, boat that discovered the Titanic um, came from, Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute. And right there in front of you is Martha's Vineyard uh, from afar. <laughs> so today is, uh, hopefully you can hear me because it's kind of windy. Um, today is uh, Friday the 22nd of October and the moon uh, is in Taurus still. Uh, it doesn't move out of Taurus until um, early tomorrow morning. We had a very early square between Pluto and uh, Mars. Uh, that is a last quarter crisis in consciousness square. And uh, it is part of the, the synodic cycle between Pluto and um, Pluto and Mars. It's a two year cycle in which we become uh, aware of our um, unconscious desires. This is occurring with of course, uh, Pluto and Capricorn, and since Pluto moved into Capricorn in 2008, uh, what we have been experiencing is our desires around power, and our desires around self-governance, and our desires around um, maturity, and, uh, and sort of putting on our big girl and big boy pants. So, uh, you know, for some that's going well, for others not so much. Oh wow, the, the uh, something's at half, half mass. Oh, that's probably from Colin Powell. Yeah, that's probably from Colin Powell. So, uh, again, hopefully you can hear me because it is pretty windy. This last quarter, Crisis in Consciousness Square, does uh, question, have us questioning authority, questioning our own authority and uh, our sense of authority. Um, it is a revolutionary energy and it has to do with power struggles and so we will see power struggles happening we can certainly see it in the united states and what's going on in the, um, the congress um, and the Senate. we also have um, the sun moving into a scorpio for some people that occurs late tonight for others it occurs tomorrow here on the on the East Coast, it's happening uh, tomorrow morning, I think 51 minutes after midnight. And uh, that is the sun moving into um, Scorpio. The interesting thing about that is that the sun, that Scorpio it has, a, has a, two rulers. It has, it's ruled by Mars and by Pluto. And of course, Mars and Pluto are in that square to each other. So um, in a way, um, the sun is disposited by Mars and Pluto during this period uh, when the sun is in Scorpio. Now, Mars will be moving into Scorpio on the 30th. So uh, it's this uh, sun in Scorpio time promises to be quite transformational in its nature and um, most likely um, there's going to be big changes, big transformations. And Scorpio is the um, the archetype of death and rebirth. And so we will be feeling it personally and we will be feeling it collectively. So that's what's going on. I hope you enjoyed this little trip to, uh, to um, Woods Hole. And um, I'm going to walk around a little bit more and uh, maybe give you another view from another perspective. Maybe one that's not quite so windy. All right, guys, have yourself a great day. Like, subscribe, and as always, have a great, have a great, great day. Namaste.